What is up guys, Son of Beast here, back with for another NBA Playoff in 2020. This time, the online gaming continues with Philadelphia 76ers playing at Indiana against the Pacers. This is another rematching time and, and Indiana Pacers are back home for a spot since last two seasons, back in season one and and this season, uh, the Pacers never got a chance to make the win here in a away game, but they lost already against the Denver Nuggets. And and back in season two, they lost against the Nets too, with uh, with a total defeating score. As uh, as for D'Angelo Russell and Jared Allen, and finally this was. And finally, uh, this season, they couldn't have another win that time with a tough loss against Orlando Magics. This was tough enough to be uh, the first one in, but it won't happen ability longer again. This time, the matchup is on. So as I will be doing, the uh, the the Ficker City Edition, as uh, as I followed up, Indiana with a tough looking looking ability but uh, but it won't be happening until long if it keeps it going it again I am still gonna be playing for 76ers this time let's make the most of it happen here in game three and yes you you can check out the episode of Eric Pascal Pascal in the uh, in the game for right at that moment, but don't be uh but don't be fooled on on every player that they done. They are always putting on the bonus content by each team. When they come down the lane, here comes the goat. This guy's got springs, and he takes off, and he goes high and comes down hard. Yep, that's Kevin Harlan right in the top box of the corner on the right. And now here's your look at the Indiana. Pacers in the middle. In the middle. Six for one. Number 33, Miles Turner. It's ball forward. Since six for three. Number one, TJ Warren. At the pool, say so six foot five, number seven, become Brogdon. Six foot two inches, number four, Victor Oladipo. And they have a four position, since so six foot eleven, number eleven, Domantas Bonus. And your head coach for the Indiana Pacers, Nick McMillan. Let's hear it for your Indiana Pacers, but this won't be happening that long. Welcome to the welcome back at Indiana. Bankers Life Fieldhouse is turning up away from each player. Right now, this is going to be a tough showing by each team. It's DA, it's all yours. When the Pacers traded away Paul George, many around the league expected a total rebuild. Instead, Indiana has been a consistent playoff team. They don't have so-called big names on this roster, but they do have veterans who stayed humble, who bought in completely, and come to play every night. And with young talent that's still on the rise, there's reason for optimism going forward in Indiana. Kevin? Thank you, DA. When we are, and all fans in Indiana are missing Paul George that time back in two seasons uh, with the Pacers, a long season, I think five seasons ago, and then, uh, and then, uh, and then last back two seasons, uh, he was with the OKC Funders, and for this season, he's with the Clippers. So Joel Embiid and Simmons are ready to go. Victor Oladipo and Dembanta Sabonis are all set up and game ready to play. Wishing the players good luck. And now with the starting lineups. And the key matchup will be Josh Richardson against Victor Oladipo. So right now the tip-off is away. Game three at Bankers Life Fieldhouse. Yeah, you know, Kevin, it's much the Pacers wins their tip-off, and we are starting right now. 
so much Brogdon against Simmons. Team, you can get the ball out of your hands. First time they here. They read defensively well. And they Warren against the Harris. I'm always amazed at that. Fast and hard. Fast and hard. We end up way in here. Warren trying to look. Here's Warren. The Pacers are picking up a first rebound for Zamanta Sabonis. A putback by Turner and they released the shot. Definitely a good time effort. Now Ben Simmons, he passes off to Horford. Holding it, find a good pass to Richardson. Richardson will take the two pointer here. Al Horford with the reconnection and he got the ball back. This is why they didn't realize they didn't get there that time. For Indiana, they come into this one. Commentators, uh, it's Kevin Harlan, Greg Anthony, and Clark. Simmons now here's Brogdon. Oh, blocked the pass by Simmons, but we covered the ball. Warren against Harris. Switch the ball, man. Horford will take the first rebound here after McGraw after Warren miss. Richardson, nobody around. He gets another two pointer for uh, for Josh Richardson. He has got four points. Looking confident that Tom looked like uh, Allen Iverson. But, uh, but Joel Embiid's more uh, more legendary than Josh Richardson. Brogdon against Simmons. Outside, Outside is Warren. Screen on Turner. From 14. Again, Again with a miss, and and B will take the first rebound. Rough start so far. Back to Horford. Back to Horford. Outside. Outside is Simmons. Nope, they got a call to say defense. Screen on Horford. Three pointer. Miss a shot. That's a first free miss for Richardson for Philly. Brogdon finds Oladipo. Oladipo jumps on the two as McCall makes their makes his first assist of the game. To score inside. Now here's Simmons. Simmons passes to Horford. Back to Simmons. Trying to break loose. With the layup, no good for Simmons, and that's a miss. Oladipo in! Sweep through, and Oladipo has four points. Deal goal percentage 54 for Sixers and 43 for Pacers. But they're missing out, Paul George. Do not worry. I won't complain about anything so far, but it's, it's definitely tough to get there that time. Good recover by Horford. Here it comes Embiid. Shoots over Turner. Embiid missed the first shot. The shot's there for him, and he's got to take it. I don't care. Brogdon against Simmons. That's a shot. With a spin move. To take. Simmons against Brogdon. There's the dish. He's got, this is off to all the depot. Screen on Sabonis. Kept alive. Kept alive. Sabonis with a dunk. The aggressive nature with which Sabonis offensive rebounds, he hustles. He's got great. Now I have to call for the floppy motion here that time. They yeah, so they gotta put it up and listen to listen directions. Oh, and B with no one. He did the same thing just like Josh Richardson. Need two of each players won't get a shot. Miles Turner with the dunk. Philadelphia has to call their first timeout because they're not setting it up too good. Untimely injury, the one to Victor Oladipo, and it's been hard for them to attract top free agents. So right now, this is not going really well. We're not setting it up really right at that time. Sixers are going right into between their two young stars. Mavericks 2018 for the uh, half court. Are legitimate questions. And oh yes, rebound. They got a well. They got to crash that offense board. Try to be patient that time. You don't know what's going to come out. Let's go with our Mavs Philly series. And this might be a little bit tough uh, complaint about about uh, Philadelphia and Dallas. Not even comparison up here. But once I have it for next season, I will do Sixers versus the Mavericks. That's the next season I will do. Once NBA 2K21 comes out, then I'll take one. They are looking ahead to neck to neck here as Indiana has taken 39 wins 
and 38 wins for the Sixers. There are one behind that time. They're getting close. Horford. Fast over Simmons. Horford. Free for Harris. Rebound by MB. He has the first two point and finally had that one in. Follow up by Al Horford with the miss. So that time, that's its first two pointer for MB. Horford against the Sabonis. Sabonis kicks his off to Brogdon. Only five seconds to shoot. Has to get one. Elbow, no good. And B with a second rebound. Two for to go. Horford alone made it in. That's the first three pointer for Al Horford since he finally had one. An assist goes out by Harris. That's the first assist for uh, for the Sixers. Two twenty to go. Brogdon against Simmons. Simmons, Brogdon finds Oladipo. Screen on Turner. Blocked by our forfeit. Simmons with no good layup. Off shot that time. DJ TJ Warren will take. Nice, some solid D for Joel and B here. Wow. Didn't attack that much, but he didn't get that one right. Simmons goes to Horford. Back to Simmons. Harris shooting three. And B lost the ball. Didn't reach out that right. And there's another shot for Brogdon. He has another point in. But they're not putting up any resistance. I tell you what, it's, it reminds me of one Richardson, of the used to say, that he passes Simmons. And B with the screen. <laughs> <laughs> what was that, though? What was that laugh here? <laughs> Commentary. <laughs> Kevin Harlan, anybody? Huh? <laughs> There's a foul, and the shot goes in. So Boris will take the first two. Another two after the foul called on Horford. His first personal foul. But for Pacers, they're strong. They're putting it back in uh, in the board. So Indiana Indiana switching it up here. Right now, here's uh, McDermott. Wait, Sabonis should be shooting at the free throw line. Not McDermott. Are you kidding me? Referee! What the heck was that? McMillan would have helped him out and stay uh, with uh, Sabonis before subbing out. Jeez, man! That was that was a silly mistake. Scott passes to MB. MB looking comfortable here. Assist by Scott. Only four points for for MB. And first assist for Scott. Bird's covered up by McConnell. After he missed out for uh, his first season. Lamb covered by Feibel. On the wing is Lamb. Lamb missed the first one. 30 seconds to play in the first quarter. 15 to 11. Particularly here to start the game. Back pass is to Scott. Really playing with a lot of energy here at the start. Pass to Feibel. Over McConnell, Feibel can't make that again. Can't make it that time. Lamb for three. Missed again. So that's two misses that time. And here's Feibel. And the buzzer came in late. And his shot is came in up too late. So that's the end of the first quarter. 15 to 11. We'll be right back on NBA 2K Sports. I don't know the English, obviously at the beginning it was a little bit hard to like express myself. Obviously I can speak English perfectly now, so that's a plus and uh, I'm just being myself. 
He's making some quick transactions here for Joel Embiid, but I'm but but it's really kind of hard to get this that time for Joel Embiid. That was a long that was a long reason that well, he he was quickly moved to uh, switching in and out places. Nice, uh, nice rebound. Oh, he made the shot. That counts it in for MB. Matatze has his first personal foul. Great rebound here. Excellent work here. And that put back was sent in. MB doesn't have anything to say about uh, any players on Indiana. He leaves them off silent, too. And it's time for an injury report. Now let's get an update on Domanis Sabonis. What's the status there, David? Sorry, Sorry, I was able to catch up with Indiana's head athletic trainer. And guys, he says it's just a bruised shoulder. Good news because at first they feared it was much worse. And of course that would be a brutal loss for this team if he misses any time as they're getting ready for the end of the season. Kevin? Thanks for the Thank you for the update. Unfortunately, I don't know why his, uh, Sabonis was subbed out because he has his bruise injury on his leg. But the good news is he's not out. He's still in that time, but he's still injured after all. Now they're fueled up and ready to go here. Follow up by the shot by Feibel. And the shot by McConnell will go in. And, uh, and, and Drew Holiday. That was a follow up by Drew Holiday. Kevin, Josh Richardson has made himself into one of the top defensive wings in the league. Richardson says there's a certain competitiveness that comes with being a good defender. The defensive end takes will, and I have a lot of it. Kevin J. Rich is self-described as super competitive. That edge is what drives him. It sure is. That's what it takes. Thank you, David. MB trying to go for a dunk, but the man was uncovered by McConnell. Is starting to add up. Yeah. Lamb makes it number two. Only nine rebounds for uh, for for Sixers. Fourteen rebounds for Pacers. There, that's what they named they called Pacers because the Indy car was in there during the uh, Indianapolis 500. Foul called on T.J. McConnell. His first personal foul and their second team foul. Stop the clock at 5.14 left. 21 to 15 to score. Burks will take two pointer. And effectively guard shooting two players and also make shots from the perimeter as well. Amazing to see guys that big out there sometimes. Here's some new changes here. Like on the, on the yeah. three point line. Kirk Moss and Feibel here are sold out. Excuse me, Milton and Glenn Robinson the third are checked in. Really and for Pacers, McConnell is subbed out. And Holiday will go in to give it a try. That's his first season with uh, in 2019 so far. That happened back last year, 2018 and 19. And now Holiday will give it a try. Oh, the coach called time here with 5.09 to go. 21 to 17 to score first of the game with uh, with another game so only both teams made one timeout before the next after substitutions are gone in here's Burks only 15.2 for the season uh, back in game one in game two Burks only had a time to uh, to make us make a suggestion that time but he doesn't have any of the choices to come up before he comes out too late. I think his role is only going to increase. He passed up to Heron Holiday. Here is Holiday. Drew Holiday missed. Finds Holiday. Drew Holiday finds Aaron Holiday. Drew Holiday. Holiday looking over the floor. There's a there's two holidays here. Matase with the rebound. Saving up by McDermott. Holiday trying to get that win. Burks tipped it off. And they hit again, and McDermott takes it too. Effort lead up to six. Burks to Mount Milton. Passes back to Bill Burks. Burks passes to Robinson the third. really got to pick up that interior defense. Burks coming in. Here's Burks. Two pointer miss. Aaron Holiday trying to get up right. They are really controlling the inside. Well, they're working the glass really badly. He passes to Holiday, Aaron Holiday. Let's help them stake this lead. Here's Holiday. 
and he's off on his first Nice double D here for Burks and Embiid, but the shot is not gone in yet. Robinson passes to Embiid. Embiid, and the foul goes on Matatze. His second personal foul. Third team foul for Pacers. But that block got away, and uh, Joel Embiid going to shoot for two. Watch one, one more clip. That block was turned into an air ball that time. He's an all league performance. But uh, nope. That doesn't, uh, that doesn't count for uh, rejection. That was a dirty uh, mess all over on, on the Pacers for Indiana that time. They have crashed, lost out of the gear, put up some penalties on each player. MB makes the first free throw, but Tanse is checked out, and Turner is checked in. Mike Scott and Burks are out, Ben Simmons and Harris are checked back in. Well, he moves out there. And Kevin, that's the first and uh, all three of them. I said, uh, Turner, Savonis is back in, so he's still good. And they're back into the starters. MB takes two. MB has ten points that time, and they are trailing up. By six. Holiday passes to Warren. Oh no, it's not starting five. It's just the same thing here. With the shot for Warren, Warren makes it in. This happened Tuesday after the loss against Boston. 22 points that time and only five assists. Ben Simmons off the space. Wow, there we go. There's Ben Simmons. Only finally made a two pointer. What touch out of my face. I didn't want to get smacked He's two so times that time. He says, get, Even when he says, you know, don't let anybody slap me again, or else I'll come, in, come out on the court bleeding, and then we're going to have to stop the game. Holiday looking for Warren. Devonez with the three. Misses the, Misses the off target for the wing. Sixers trailing by four. Here's the pass to Milton. Milton. Milton will take the first two pointer and his drive will come in. That's the first two bucket for uh, Milton. From Harris, I mean, he draws so much attention. For Harris, uh, this is what's happening before that time. And Ben Simmons think I think Joel Embiid is definitely on the good list uh, that time. And he's the best top uh, top player ever at least rated that time. That was played. He passed to Oladipo. Pocket six. Oladipo with a shot, and that's good. Oladipo has six points. Milton. Harris taking the number two look, and there is a shot. A lot of good movement here. Milton find a great pass, and Harris makes another shot. Aaron Holiday up again. 2-11 to go. Pacers lead by two. Oladipo outside. Just two minutes to go here. Oh, went late. Oladipo made a shot. Sixers calling time here. Under two minutes. This game coming after a This one was not going to be expecting what will happen next because the Pacers come back in. Then they would have to take the win at all times. So anyway, uh, this wasn't happening before a regular day here for Joel Embiid. Uh, subbing out Glenn Robinson the fur trying for Kirk Moss. And I had to switch it off into a Pelicans 2018. This won't be happening too long ago, but it will be all right. Pacers are making some switches here. Al Horford's back in, and uh, and on the other hand, and we got Corkmaz. Josh Richardson subbed in. Holiday to Harris. Uses the layup and pulling up right and right next to the rim, and Harris will take another pointer right over Sabonis. So they're getting close by. Here. Here's Brockton. He only has some four pointer, four points here. Reverse layup. Oh, he tried a reverse layup. 
that one on reverse home. dunk. But uh, Al Horford kept blocking in and stopped it out of here. Watch one more time. I think he was doing a reverse dunk that time. Ooh, so close. But not enough to get there that, at that moment. Brogdon shooting two. The first free throw is first good. First free throw is and good for Brogdon. 2016 rookie of the year continues to impress. Brogdon <clears throat> is a valuable role player. Just one more left. Does a lot of things well. We're almost done with the first half before second half. McCollum Brogdon delivers two after the free throw is made. I think will be the development of Ben Simmons' jump shot. He's got to become at least a threat as a perimeter shooter. Oh, he went turn around that time. Trying to turn the other way, but it handled a block. TJ Warren with no good layup. Oh, no! TJ Warren! He said, don't you dare move already. Take that, little fuck, little, uh, I, I'm not going to say that, Tom. And you always talk negative that time. That was cause a technical foul. Oh, take that, Gunners. Offensive rebound. Put back. No good. Miles Turner was solid D. That's not an easy one, especially when the defense is that tight. Almost blocked the pass, but T.J. Warren handled it. T.J. Warren saves it again, another two-pointer. Well, I'm not sure how that. Now here's Horford. Horford pass to Simmons. Kicks it off to Richardson. Twenty-four seconds. Simmons to Horford. Screen on Corkmaz. Horford attacking. Corkmaz. The Pacers are leading up again. So there's another miss was turning out trouble. Has to turn. It's Oladipo on the wing. They're there to foul. Called on Richardson. His first personal foul. Stop the clock at two seconds. I tell you, Oladipo really putting the finish. And I'll tell you this: Victor Oladipo, outstanding. Only had that one pointer at a time, but there. But this time, he wasn't in the NBA All Star. He missed out one of his games, though, and he couldn't have that lead a point. The officials say they they want Victor Oladipo to get into the big All Star in 2020, but they say it's too hard to pull him up again. So whatever he's thinking about. Uh, coming back in, then yeah, he'll have, uh, he'll try better. Back in the 2013 draft, Simmons is out. Richardson back switches off to the point guard position 18, as five bowl is checked in. His star is rising. McConnell, Brogdon, and McDermott are subbed in. Oladipo with one shot. Oladipo, Oladipo makes that two-pointer save. Try to look for the buzz beater. And the, last the last second of a uh, shot is no good. That's the end of the first half. 37 to 23. 37 to 27. And it's working for And now let's get Now let's catch it up on David Aldrich on the side. David. Kevin, thank you. Here with Brett Brown. Now, coach, it seemed like you guys came out a little bit flat. How do you get some energy for the second half? We just got to go with the people that have energy. I feel like we are not the aggressors. We have to do whatever we're going to do to our defense, and so far it's been good. Brett, thanks for your time. Back to you, Kevin. Pacers are in the lead right now, but the Sixers are have a chance to come back in. We'll be right back. Hope you're enjoying the first half, but now we're going to get started off in the second half. Taking a look at Oladipo, he has, he has tied up 10 points with Joel Embiid. And by that moment, I haven't seen any dunks this time. Uh, what happened, Oladipo? Or Joel Embiid never got a dunk either. Neither of those guys have got a dunk. So they just got fricked up. So anyway, we have two quarters left. Starting off, it's third quarter. And then the fourth quarter will be last. Embiid, try to get out of here, and the tiebreaker won't release up for Joel Embiid to uh, hit the two-pointer. 
Two pointer missed. Joel Embiid gonna have to try it out again. Oh, he found it. Oh, frick. Okay. Here comes TJ Warren. Some solid D on uh, uh, Harris. Put the stop on the move. No doubt. Oh! That was close already. They're the group for Nate McMillan starting the second half. But thank goodness that saved Sixer ball right out of the spot. Philadelphia ball. Now off the inbound. And they start the second. Ben Simmons missed the missed the re rebound. In Indiana going another shot. Yes, they did. T.J. Warren with the jam and Brogdon with the assist. Making sure he gets it to the open man. Got stop going deep here. And the shot good for Victor. Uh, I'm sorry, Richardson. Oladipo has a number first has a first personal foul. Their first three attempts on a shooting foul. That's their first team foul. McMillan trying to say, Oladipo, you can't just uh, help. You can't just uh, stop on each player if you have enough uh, chance to put up to, on a defender. Hold your hands up higher. <sighs> I don't know why they're swapping it. They're trying to reject the shot, but this didn't help. Free throw off. So two made for Richardson, but not one for their last, for another free throw. Whoa, Simmons! I guess Simmons just made it back in time. He, no foul called on Simmons. And yes, that's a shot, how it is. A block, a rejection, and a shot for Simmons has gone up and in. What a great shot. Sixers trailing by eight. Now Victor Oladipo, he still has ten points, but where will where will the next two be? Or three? Now here's Brogdon. Guarded by Simmons here. Pass Oladipo. The tiebreaker is broken. And now he has 13 points for Oladipo, assist by Brogdon. Simmons makes the layup. Six points for Simmons. And for Al Horford, yeah, made another shot, made another assist that time. Or if it's Tobias Harris or Richardson, I don't know. We're down to five minutes, 33 to 42. Is trying to get open. Not getting open for uh, Oladipo that time. Oh, out of the way, and Embiid is pulling back in. Right around McBrogdon's hand. That's how you do the stuff. Just 4.42. Pacers lead by 7. Just Simmons here just made that shot that time with the rejection. But the shot uh, only has four points and nothing in the first half. Here's Warren. Oh, set back by MB. The blockness, monster. And there's a foul, and oh, he went down on the floor. McBroden is has a second personal foul. Al Horford only 11.9 for this season, but that but that won't be hard enough to uh, pull it back in. Yeah, and you know, McBrogdon has second personal foul. Joel Embiid will go to the line for two. After, after, after the rejection from Embiid. Embiid has the first one. Here are new groups for Sixers and Pacers. All four, four sub players sub out. Burks, Milton, Glock, Robertson the third, and Scott sub in. All five players are subbed out, including McBrogdon, the second personal foul. Holiday Lamb, Holiday, Warren, and Batatse. Embiid hits two and has 14 points, passed behind Oladipo. Here's Aaron Holiday. What was that sound? That was weird. Scott and TJ Warren tight on the guard. And Bede with the steal. Robinson goes in. Robinson uses the layup to finish. 
So another re another fumble for the Pacers and Philadelphia hitting again to find a custom to find a routine. Heading back in is Lamb. And the crowd goes for a let's go Pacers champ. Nothing, nothing happened here with Lamb, and he Lamb missed it again. Oh, Robinson the third as a dunk here, and that's a first dunk. Sis by Milton. Guys in a position now to succeed. So Burks, that might be number twenty. They finally found the right formula to break down. So they're getting close up right now, trailing by one. First, still holding on Holiday, Aaron Holiday. Warren shot no good. And not, not another assist for uh, Batatse. Robinson finishes off again. And they are, and the score has changed. 43 to 42, Sixers in the lead. Now here's Holiday. He doesn't have any points that time, but Coach McMillan will call timeout. Stop the clock at 3.01 left. And Embiid, he took two, two fumbles and, and, a, and a blockness. What an incredible defender. Joel Embiid subbed out and Kyle O'Quinn is checked in. Milton is also subbed out and Feibel is back in. Now and here is McConnell, it's covered by Scott. Back pass. Oh, great stop on Kyle O'Quinn. That's the first defender that we got. Not for just though Joel and B, but now Kyle O'Quinn handles a substitution for the center. Kyle O'Quinn passes to Feibel. 18 feet away, Bible can't connect. Turn around again, it's Drew Holiday. Oh, sent back by Robinson the third, and there's another one. Another turnover for Indiana. Five he makes a reverse layup. With that, Kyle Oakwin will got his first assist. Bible has, has two, and finally put it back on the board. In the second half, because he never had a chance to get there. Lamp passes to McConnell. He passes to Drew Holiday. The threes, good. Drew Holiday finally got a first three pointer passed by McConnell. Just tied up under two minutes. Burks to Robinson, the third. Passes to Scott. Over McConnell, McDermott, sorry. McDermott with a cover laid on defense. McDermott will take the two. And he has got five here in the second half. And there's a reaching foul on Drew Holiday. His first personal foul. Miles Turner comes in for Batatse. Just about under a minute and a half to go. Wow, Drew Holiday had a foul called on his, their fourth team foul. That's his second personal foul for Drew Holiday. <clears throat> so just a dunk. It looks like uh, Glenn Robinson the third is going to have to do is uh, take two shots out of it to make a tie. Sixers have a bonus bonus points. Uh, have the bonus out after all the Sixers are putting too many fouls. Pacers, sorry. Oh, come on. The first one falls. Glenn Robinson the forward handles the first. Sixers. Also making the switch, McDermott's checked out, Sabonis is checked in. Two critical positions, a 6'10 point guard and a 7'2 center, and both are uber talented. Now Glenn Robinson the third is going to have to pull up a tie if he makes one in. He's checked in for the Pacers. He did. Robinson the third had tied it up so far. Eight points for Glenn Robinson. Now McConnell looking alone. 
Kyle Oakwing gets gets his first rebound. Everything he could to make that shot as difficult. Oh, oh yeah, that was my mistake. That I just went from left. That was not good. And what he does on defense. Buries it two for McConnell. For McConnell. It's timeout by Philadelphia. With 103 left, I'm going to have to like say this is not going good on offense that time. Whatever I'm thinking about, they need to fix it. They got to do it. They really got to fix it up that time. So, Pelicans, no good. Let's find another one. <clears throat> this time I'm calling for a slice. A swing? Did I say did I say swing? Yes. Oh no. Oh no, it's slice. Okay. I did say slice the first time. And there's the cougar, the mascot for the uh, Indiana Pacers. And the 76ers will go for a different look. 76 are going for a different look here. Al Horford's checked in by Mike Scott. Richardson is like checked in for uh Burks. Kirkmaz is handled back in. Kirkmaz didn't have that shot time. Three-pointer, no good, as 76ers are losing out of patience that time. Nobody had a chance here, but Lamb finishes the layup. Kirkmaz passes the Fiebel. Shot off, and that's their 15 foul is pulling so many stress. On the Indiana Pacers, Jeremy Lamb has pit, draw a foul, first personal foul, and coming to the line for two is Feibel. Shoot two. <clears throat> Shooting two. Bible didn't have that right away. So Jeremy Lamb is subbed out. McBrogdon is back in. Check back in. McBrogdon's on a shooting guard. So that's why McConnell's still on the point guard position. <clears throat> Last one. McConnell can't find a room for a two, and his shot way off. With their free throw shooting this half. Five ball against McConnell. Now here's McConnell. He's trying to McConnell with a layup and there's another pointer. Oh, that was a sweet looking teardrop. There's very little defense. For Richardson that. passes the five ball. Pass to Horford. Shoots over Turner. Over Turner, no good. And no need to rush this. Let the clock run down. Yeah, don't give them another possession. There's a shot by Drew Holiday. Nice play, and you can see seven seconds. We're you know, gonna to need to fix it, figure this out. Buzz beater, and that's the game. That's the end of the third quarter. We have one more quarter left 55 to 47. Be back at the Banker's Life Fieldhouse. Here's the assist of the game presented by State Farm. Let's check out on Pacers this time. That was that was Brogdon, and then it's a bonus by the last time it was in the second half before the first second half began. That was a bonus that was putting up a, uh, a shot that was in, and then draw the foul on uh, on Horford. So that's what they was joining in so far. He did really well. And, and thank God he's not out of the game. He's still back in. Okay. Drew Holiday makes a three. Harris finds Korkmaz. There's the first bucket. And Korkmaz got two points. Fast assist by if Tobias Harris. Who was declaring early, now Brogdon. He's standing in here trying to look out for 10. You could get from whoever because there was no allowing you. you, you yeah, what the heck, man? Sabonis so has the uh, drive in. Sabonis so has six points. When you allow good score, ben Simmons has six points. No wonder you're losing. And, you know, he should be getting extra attention from the defense, not less. There's the block by Miles Turner. 
making air ball jumping out of here. There is a rebound for Korkmaz. 76ers trailing by 11. Try to stop him at no way. He can't go in. Oh, and Horford a step out of here. Simmons makes the uh, broken up the tie by McBrogdon. I mean, Sabonis. Simmons has eight points. <clears throat> now heading in the other direction is Brogdon. Only uh, eight points, I believe. Holiday, no good with the three, but only he made it once time. Harris with the law. Off the mark and no good. Ben Simmons will draw the attention foul and reach and foul. First foul. Kirk Miles Harris Horford. Horford goes back into the point forward position as Embiid is checked in. Six years ago, I had a chance to be with the Pacers in the global games in the Philippines. Brogdon then finds Oladipo. Nice, solid D. There's the foul called on Richardson. There's the second personal foul. Second team foul. But Pacers are doing too many fouls that time. This was five. Now this is, might be this might be happening six if it happens again. We're not we're not quite sure if it's going to happen once more. If they're going to stop it. Yeah, and you know those were legit. Brad Brown looking yeah, desperate. Not a big time shot blocker, but he is nimble for a big guy. Doesn't possess the typical. Now some bonus will take two shots side, here. But he's got great strength. But he's got good quickness, if not. Um, speed. Well, the excellent shot here that time. Not a slightly, not a slightly early. Clark, you always say you can't run away from the TNA. With Sabonis, the son of the Lithuanian legend. Sorry, I'm trying to make my voice clearer. Kevin, I'm glad you've been paying attention to me over the years. You're right, though. That DNA. Sabonis hits two points, and we are back in. Younger Sabonis has done his dad very proud. He's six. Horford will look for him here. Finding out is MB. Combination of strength and skill. MB definitely got a point at that time. He has 16 points. Pointing out the lead over Oladipo with 13. 14. Oh, the block sent back. Joel MB with a second shot block. Richardson left side. Inside, here's Simmons. Good back pass. Pacers with, Pacers the, with the ball and as Philadelphia couldn't find another man opener. And it's another miss here that time. Here's Horford. And there's a foul called on Miles Turner. Just shut up, man. I'm, I'm sick and tired of saying Siri. Around three minutes Simmons. Over oh, McCollum Brogdon. The feed to Harris. Feed to Harris. Reverse layup's good. Crazy two, crazy two so far. Crazy Harris backward really layup. Much more adept at and there it went. Hard shot. Hard shot that time as Harris has six points. And Brogdon has got the ball here. Brogdon finally has the ball. Oh, Depot. Oh, oh, and he made it in. No man guarding on uh, on Old Depot, and he needs the attention. Brogdon has his second personal foul. Joel Embiid keeps it uh, keeps it right in the ball point, but this one might be tied out. Oh no, I think it's one point behind. Just Embiid missed. That's a shot he's got to hit. You don't get many looks better from that range. And, and we're going to leave it here. Josh Richardson has his third personal foul. Their third team foul. Turner finds Sabonis. And we're going to leave it here that time. Left it in the corner. For their fourth teammate foul will be on uh, Sixers. Kyle Horford has third personal foul. Same thing, just like Richardson did. Hold it from here. 
Brunt and outside. And that foul gives him. And that will be their fourth personal foul for a Horford. What is happening right now? I can't find anywhere. Now it's a one on one. Jeremy Lamb shooting one on one and two. No good on the mm. We'll just have to go with one and two. It's Only one shot ball. allows him to follow in. The 76ers trail by 11. Sixers are trailing by 11. Releases from 15. Good, and good, re good rebound. And B lost it. What a nice defense for each team. Oh, Oladipo with the dunk. Oh, Depot has 18. He passes his point by 16 for Embiid. Simmons finds a uh, finds a shot. Yeah, Pro is not a good challenging for me. I, I only did it once, but it's horrible. I hate this. I hate going. I hate stepping into the Pro, but this is not going to happen. Timeout called by Pacers. And we'll be right back. Now here's your Jordan player of the game, Victor Oladipo. With only missing out the, the All-Star game in the NBA this season, and he's been missing out a, a bunch of seasons that time. He missed uh, he missed doing the slam dunk contest for uh, for Victor Oladipo. But that means being said, I don't know if he can be back in for another slam dunk. Yeah, he made two. Let's catch up with all of So let's find out what David Oladipo's got. I was able to hear Nate McMillan talk to his team during the break. He said, this is where mistakes can kill us. This is where mistakes can turn this thing completely around. Protect the basketball and make the simple play. In other words, guys, no hero ball right now. Just find the shoot. Good D by Embiid. Good D by Embiid. And no, uh, no foul contention on us. Is what I mean. Such a respected defender. And you know what? He's not going to give up an easy finish at the rim. I mean, that's just uh, against his constitution. Three pointer, no good. Pacers leading by 11, and they're going on a series. Good for Big, Big Brogdon. Under two minutes to go here. Here's Fievel. Harris rolling up. Oh, rolling out of here, find him off the loan. About athleticism, guys. It's important. And right there, Harris used his will to create. Use him out of the way. Get out of the way, TJ Warren. He left in the fourth quarter. With Sixers not arriving, not arriving that much too good. Only Oladipo had made a couple of free shots. Nice slam dunks and, and assists. And yes, there's a two. 20 points for uh for Oladipo. There's a foul called on Sabonis. His first personal foul. Their third team foul. This was not going to work right. for him when free agency hit. Ends up staying with the Sixers. And I think it makes sense for both sides that he fits nicely next to MB. What do we want? I don't know. We want what? And he makes the first. We want Harris? Oh, stop that. Would you have fans? Would you stop? I know I'm a Pacers fan, but that's not how I'm going to teach. Only two shots made for Harris and 133 left on by. He's been moved so many times. You know what, Greg? You forget he's still quite young. Whoa! Oh, Depot. I mean, Brock Sabonis didn't see that one coming, but he saved it. Has improved every offseason. It is a great rebounder. There's a shot for uh, TJ Warren, and it's good. Even for a moment, that's his killer instinct. Just fanning the flame. Yeah, I love the fact he doesn't play the score. He just keeps coming. Attack mode. He doesn't know how to step off the gas pedal. And B kicks to Simmons. Good ball movement here by the 76ers. Horford missed again. again. Can't hit it. But can't hit it. Well, is running drive for him right now. 
right now. Nothing wrong. Hold it! Oh, he stepped his foot and the ball did roll him on the sideline. No question as to which team He tried to hold on, but tonight a dominant performance. But Brett Brown not happy enough. You know, it's tough. Bummer already, man. Horace. Hey, Brogdon guarded by Simmons. They got better looks, and that tends to lead to a better field goal percentage. And for the year now, they'll ramp up their win total to an even 40. The one point. With only one deep. They're going to leave it. Oh, Simmons finally got to recover. This game really had his name all over it. I mean, he relished being the guy. Three-pointer no good for Simmons. And it's Warren with the ball for Indiana. Two second difference between shot clock and game clock. And there's a shot for for Victor Oladipo, assisted by T.J. Warren. These players, they are ready to celebrate. And I think they can start that celebration right now. I mean, what Horford alone for three from three-point land. Three point and landing. Out of Al Horford, cash, money, all the time. Got to DM up. Gonna have to go for one on one. Start doing one on one. Oladipo outside. And they won't do it anyway for one on one. Oladipo's team, Pacers, have put it back on the series with two to one. And this time, this won't be happening until this will uh, come back in game four. Pacers, Sixers, two to one. Series, shut up. With the win. It's time now to go courtside as we send you over to David Aldridge. I'm going to disable you if you turn it off. Take it away. Kevin, thank you. Victor, what does tonight's performance say about the confidence of this team? Uh, they just look pretty good. We play great together. You know, um, and we play well together as a team, so when we do that, it's easier for us to be teams. Victor Wundamatha, thank you, my man. Back to you, Kevin. Thank you, Dan David. Thank you. This time, the, the game was pulling back on a hold as, as uh, Oladipo didn't see that one coming. But how many dunks can he do? Will he be back in the All-Star doing some event competitions? We'll find out next season to be determined. Thank you so much for tuning in. And we only have a couple of games left before we head on to uh, game four of, on each team. So with that, that, is, that concludes... Uh, Sixers and Pacers. So with that, thank you for watching for this video and we will be back seeing Ma Mavericks and Grizzlies at Memphis. So with that, that's it for now and then finally the last stop is Brooklyn Raptors at Brooklyn. Thank you for tuning in and until next time, peace out bitches. Till now for another NBA 2K20 dial. Bye bye. Thank <laughs> you.